and hello everyone, Commander Simlex here, and welcome back to Star Trek Online. Today we will be doing a guide on a map that is not often used in Star Trek Online, your Starship Bridge. The Starship Bridge in Star Trek Online is used in one or two missions in the Romulan mission arc, as well as a social zone and a duty officer contact area. But beyond that is not really used, and in my opinion that's quite a shame because they did a really good job in detailing these bridges, and in some cases you can actually have added functionality, such as in the custom Ferengi bridges or in several other bridges that are built for specific ships that are actually custom made based on what was seen in the shows of Star Trek Online, so they actually went into quite a lot of detail and can be rather fun to use. Now, you can customize your ship's bridge through going to the ship customization window at various installations throughout Star Trek Online, such as Earth Space Dock. Once you customize your starship, you can then go to the subheader called Interior. Once you click on this button, it will then give you a list of various available bridges that you can choose from, such as the default origin bridge or other bridges like Utility or Alliance or Nomad or Virtue or Key or various others. Now, something to note here is that not all the bridges are actually free. Some of them are in bridge packs, which I will detail in a bit. And we can see that here, whereby the Voyager Bridge, which is the bridge that you see in the Star Trek Voyager series, is actually part of a bridge pack that you need to purchase for 2,000 Zen. Or, transversely, some of these bridges may be included in Starship packs, whereby you purchase the ship, and then it gives you the bridge as part of the pack. So that is something to keep in mind. Now something else that you can do while you are in this interior selection screen is to select a layout through this upper tab here. This allows you to customize your bridge a little bit more. It doesn't really do a whole lot in terms of the actual bridge itself. The, the layout selection doesn't change the size of the bridge but it does change the layout and the size of the corridors that are attached to the bridge. So, for instance, if you are flying a rather small ship, like a Miranda-class cruiser or a Defiant, you may go for a small layout. This will make the bridge layout on other decks, which I will get to in a second, appear more in line with the ship that you are flying. Now, granted, on some ships, it may still look out of place, depending on which bridge layout you have chosen, and which bridge overall you have chosen under the bridge tab. So keep that in mind when you are choosing a bridge, that the layout and the bridge may not match completely, regardless of which layout you pick, based on the fact that the bridge you have chosen has a particular look. And a good example of this is the Defiant class ships, whereby even the small bridge layout doesn't actually match the ship itself, and instead you will want to make sure that you um, go with a more custom style bridge in that instance. So, for example, let me see if I can find it here. Uh, there is... where is it? Um, I believe it's this one, the Belfast Bridge, which is the customized bridge that is designed specifically for the Defiant class, and this includes 
all of the lower decks that are part of that bridge. So if you want the layout and the bridge to perfectly match, you will need a custom bridge like the Belfast or the Voyager bridge or the Galaxy bridge to give you that exact layout of that ship for certain vessels. Not all, but certain vessels, this will be the case. Now granted, you may not be concerned with continuity or or being correct to the various vessels that you're flying, and in that case, this may not be a concern. But if you do want to make sure that your bridge matches the ship perfectly, then you may need to go for a more custom bridge like the Voyager Bridge or the Defiant Belfast Bridge or the Galaxy Bridge to guarantee that even the lower decks that are connected to the bridge will match the ship perfectly. Then once you have selected your bridge, you may want to go there. But before we get into how to actually access your Starship Bridge, let's dive into a little bit more detail about the Bridge Packs. To purchase Bridge Packs, you will need to go to the Zen Store, just under the mini-map here, and go to the Ships tab, and then navigate to the Bridge Packs tab. This will give you access to various Bridge Packs that exist within the game. These include new bridges for Sovereign class ships, Prometheus class ships, or different cruiser bridges, or Negvar bridges, or Defiant bridges, or the Negvar bridge, or the Miranda bridges, or the Galaxy bridges, or the Bird of Prey bridges, or the Raptor bridges, or various other cruiser and ship configurations. You may note that some of these bridge packs mention particular classes or types of ships. And this is because some of the bridges, not all of them, and that is something key to note here, not all bridges will have this, but some of the bridges have system displays built into the design which show a particular ship's layout. So for example, the Prometheus bridges contain a systems display within the bridge design that shows a Prometheus class ship layout. This means that if you were to use the Prometheus Bridges on a ship like the Galaxy Class, they may seem a bit out of place, because when you go to the bridge, the systems display built into the bridge screens will then show a Prometheus Class ship layout. This unfortunately means that if you are concerned with making sure the bridge matches the ship you're flying, that certain bridges will not work for certain ships such as a Prometheus class bridge will not work for a Sovereign class because it'll look a little out of place when you put the Prometheus bridge with its system display showing a Prometheus class vessel on a Sovereign class ship. And again, I will emphasize the little side note, not all of the bridges have systems displays that show a ship layout. So some of the ship bridges can be used interchangeably for different ships, and that means that you can use some bridges across all vessels. And going back to making sure the bridge matches the ship, if you are concerned with that, something else to note there is that even if the bridge doesn't have a systems display, some bridges may look a little out of place for certain ships. For example, the Miranda-class bridges may look a little out of place on a Sovereign class because, according to Star Trek lore, the Sovereign class bridge was more of a rectangular design and was rather large, in relative terms, compared to a Miranda class bridge which was more circular and rather small. So that is something to keep in mind if you would like to maintain continuity with your bridges. Now. In terms of visiting your Starship Bridge, in order to access your Starship Bridge, you need to go to the drop-down menu to the lower right of the minimap and select Visit Starship Bridge. You may also note that there is a Visit Small Craft Bridge. This will allow you to access your shuttle's 
into you in a similar fashion to how you access your Starship Bridge. However, in this instance, we will be focusing on the Starship Bridges because, unfortunately, the Shuttle Bridges do not have the same level of customization or functionality as the Starship Bridges, and... Well, actually, sorry, I shouldn't say that. They do have the same functionality, but they don't have the same level of customization. So, there are only so many options available for shuttles. And, as of recording, unfortunately there is only one shuttle bridge per faction. So there's one Dominion shuttle bridge, one Federation shuttle bridge, and one Romulan shuttle bridge, and one Klingon shuttle bridge. And for the Federation, that is a Danube-class runabout. So no matter if you're flying a Timeship Aeon shuttle, or if you're flying a Danube-class runabout, or if you're flying a Type 8 shuttle, or if you're ty flying a Delta Flyer, the bridges are all going to be Danube-class runabouts. So in this instance, we will be focusing on the Starship bridges instead, where there are a lot more customizations. Once you hit the Visit Starship Bridge and begin the loading process, something else to note is that it might take a while. Then once you're on the Starship Bridge, though, you have access to your entire ship's interior. And I think that this is super fun and awesome because it actually gives you a sense that your ship actually has crewmen, officers, and other personnel on board, and that your bridge crew is actually responding to your commands when you're on a mission. It also gives you a sense of for lack of a better term, completion, in terms of the fact that your ship actually has an interior that you can walk around in and interact with. And if you walk around, you can even see some of your bridge officers that you take away, take on away missions, pardon me, to at stations that are ready to respond to your orders. And depending on the bridges that you have and the bridges that you have selected, the look and layout will be vastly different. So it adds a bit of personal flair as well as just a sense of liveliness to your ships that you don't always get. Now, building on this, the bridge also has some functionality. If we go over to the lower, the front right section, there is a door here that leads to the ready room. The ready room positioning may vary depending on the ship bridge you select, but on most Federation bridges, the ready room is positioned in the front left section. Sorry, I just... I think I said right initially, it is actually to the front left on the bridges. And here you actually have quite a few functioning consoles that you can access. You have the library access, which is utilized in a few Romulan missions. And then you also have remote access to contact duty officers through your ready room terminal here. This allows you to access your onboard personnel duty officers, such as your diplomatic envoy, main engineering, your ship's counselor, your chef, and your bartender, among others. And these contacts can only be found on board your starship. 
you may also have noticed that this particular little storage cupboard slash locker is also an interactable object within the ready room. This allows you to access your account bank directly from your bridge, as well as set up trophies. This is an excellent thing to have because it means that if you are in the middle of sector space and you are wanting a particular item because you are about to head on a mission or something like that, but you don't really want to leave the, the system and go to a bank on Earth Space Dock or 39 Sierra or any other installation throughout Starfleet and the Federation, you can then instead visit your Starship Bridge, go to your account bank, grab the item, assuming it is in your account bank, and then immediately leave your ship interior and be right back where you were when you entered your Starship Bridge. So it actually allows you to access functionality that you would not be able to always access when you're in deep space. And then diving into the trophies a little bit, this is more related to the social aspect of the bridge. And before we dive into the trophies in more detail, there's one other little function that I should mention. You may have noticed that there are two buttons in the lower right portion of the screen here. One is to leave the ship interior, but then there's also this one called Bridge Invitations. If you click on that button, it opens up a separate window, which allows you to type in a friend's character and handle and invite them to your Starship Bridge. This allows you to have a more social environment aboard your ship's bridge, whereby you can bring your friends and buddies and have fun. You can roleplay as a bridge crew, or you can hang out and just have some chit chat in your ship's lounge, which we will visit in a moment. Now going back to the trophies, if you hit set up trophies, you can then use these two shelves, which you can see here with the Akira class model, just in the upper left portion of my screen here, to showcase different ship models or trophies that you have gained through accolades. Now the accolade system we will be going over in another video, but as you complete different achievements within the game, some of them will give you trophies which you can then display on your bridge. So say I wanted to display an accolade. Say I'm very proud of my um, ability to defeat Jem'Hadar in battle, and I want to show that off as part of my bridge. Sort of reminiscent to how uh, Picard had different archaeological finds on his shelves, or Riker had his trombone on display, or various records in his ready room in Lower Decks. So, say, going back to this example, pardon me, if I hit Ground Gem Hadar Trophy, and then exit, the Akira class model has now been replaced with two Gem Hadar hand-to-hand -hand weapons, which now are trophies on my wall to signify my ability to defeat a lot of Gem Hadar in battle. This is purely cosmetic, but it is a really fun addition. Now, that is just the ready room. There is also another aspect to the bridges, which can be accessed in the upper portion of the bridge, also to the left. And that is this door here. This gives you access to the turbo lift. Now, before we proceed any further, there is a little side note that I should mention. Not all bridges have a turbo lift. Unfortunately, some of the custom bridges do not have full interiors, so they don't actually have the ability to take your turbo lift down to lower decks. They 
instead just have your bridge and nothing else. Some of them don't even have a ready room. So be wary of that, in that some bridges actually don't have any lower decks. But in this case, on the Justice Bridge, there is a turbo lift to lower decks. So just for the sake of the video today, we will be going to the crew deck. So when we hit the button, we are then taken to the crew deck on this vessel. And the crew deck will, then has several other rooms. We have the medical bay through here, which allows you to access your ship's doctor as a duty officer contact in the surgical bay. And you can talk to your doctor and assemble hypo packs, assemble medical regenerators, and perform other medical assignments. And that is a key part of the bridge interior, aside from its social aspects and limited mission functionality. It also contains various duty officer contacts that you can only access through your ship's interior. Another area that, and my apologies, I just reached the end of my ship's uh, interior corridors. And another area that is accessible on the crew deck, which is rather fun, is the lounge, which is where your crew goes to hang out. And we see some replicators and other aspects of the lounge are all here. It's also very reminiscent of a Starfleet lounge. And you can wander around here and look out at the stars, watch your crew wander around, or just chat with friends. It's, it's actually a really nice map. And just like your ready room, you can actually have trophies set up here. You can have up to four trophies on the wall and then special floor trophies that are only available in the lounge, such as floor trophies for different missions that you've completed, such as the Guardian of Forever, a Doomsday Machine fragment, the Hobus system one, which is basically a canister of gases, and also very interesting mission ground or mission floor trophies such as the Romulan Borg ship which gives you a hologram of an assimilated Romulan, Romulan Valdor class. But that is not all. Similar to the medical bay which had the doctor contact on in the lounge you can talk to your bartender which allows you to create very specialized consumable drinks which can either be used on missions or for other duty officer missions. And in a very similar vein, you also have the chef, which can, who, pardon me, who can produce the culinary delights that can also be used on missions or through various duty officer assignments. And then to round off the crew deck, you also have a room that doesn't actually have a function, but for role playing and also just for the fun of it, they, you actually have your own captain's quarters, which are very reminiscent of the next generation layout of captain's quarters with a little bit of Star Trek Voyager in there. Unfortunately, there is not any functionality within these captain's quarters, but it is really fun nonetheless that they included them, because it means that you actually have a sort of home away from home when you're in space, as well as a place to hold meetings.
sorry, wrong door. Now, if we go back to the bridge, there's actually another aspect that I think is actually extremely cool that they added, and that is you can actually sit in most of the chairs on your bridge, either in your ready room or on the bridge itself, or even in the lounge. You can actually sit by double clicking on a chair and sitting and your character will sit in the chair. This allows you to appear as if you are commanding your bridge crew from the captain's chair or chatting with friends around a bar table. So, in that sense, the Starship Bridges really do add an extra layer of Star Trek realism that you don't often get. Albeit, the bridges are still more so a social map. Except for the functionality around duty officers that I showed off here. There are also duty officers on the engineering deck, which includes your warp core. So that adds even more functionality and places to explore. Now, I won't be detailing the engineering deck in this video because I want to leave some areas for you to explore as a uh, on your own, but I will quickly switch ships and show you an example of a bridge that has extra functionality in the form of the Ferengi bridges. I will be right back. And Watch welcome the back. Not the girl. Here we have the Ferengi Decora bridges. Or the, sorry, the pardon me, the Ferengi Decora bridge. This comes as standard on any Ferengi vessel. And unlike the standard or sea store federation bridges the bridge is designed specifically to be reminiscent of the ferengi bridges that we see in the shows with the aesthetic of the domes and the ferengi writing on the consoles and unfortunately this is one of the custom bridges that does not have a ready room or a turbo lift down to lower decks. So this is all you have uh, in terms of a bridge. However, this custom bridge does not limit the functionality because you have consoles and your bridge crew which give you access to everything that you had before. You can contact your duty officers remotely on the lower decks through the console in front of me here and you can even select a small craft. That is actually something that is in the transporter room on the engineering deck on most bridges. You can also access the library files, which is required for a mission in the Romulan Ark, and you can even select, and the selection of your ship is actually done through your bridge officer here. But, th and this is where, but there is extra functionality, and this is where the custom bridges can come into their own. In the Ferengi bridge, there is an extra room in the back, which allows you to access the a trader to trade commodities. So this allows you to buy stem bolts, sell stem bolts, or buy entertainment provisions, or establish trade routes in the DED officer system. And you can also access your mail. And you can even access your bank and exchange directly from your bridge. And you can even play Spin the Wheel Dabo and win. directly on your bridge. And this is all exclusive to the Ferengi bridge, which cannot be accessed unless you have a Ferengi vessel. So this bridge actually is basically your bank exchange mail and trading hub and also includes a Dabo wheel. So you can do quite a bit on a Ferengi bridge that you can't do 
on other bridges, and there are several custom bridges that are like this, whereby there's extra functionality embedded. But this is also only on certain custom bridges, so I would stress that not all custom bridges have extra functionality, and some of the extra functionality on custom bridges is more cosmetic than functional. The Ferengi bridge is an exception. So, with that said, that about wraps up the Starship Bridges within Star Trek Online. I hope that this video has been informative and helpful, and please like and subscribe to the channel as it greatly helps the channel grow, and I will see everybody in the next video. Commander Simlex, out!